Hello, we're back in Eaton. Uh, the next deck we're going to review is the Herb Crafters Tarot. Okay, it came in a box. Here's this. Okay, I went ahead and just opened uh, the plastic bottom. Herb Crafters Tarot celebrates the handicrafts, tools, and time-honored folk skills related to herbs, trees, flowers, and other plants and share their gifts with us. So these are going to be very keen for my particular craft. I am a green witch. So all of these things are important uh, to have to make sure that everything I'm doing is exactly what I should be doing. Now, the way that this one was packaged, of course, came with a, a guidebook. I'm not quite as big as the last one, um, but it is a larger one than I'm used to as well. Each page, okay, uh, each hazel is what we open to, <laughs> isn't that ironic? Um, and then that's the, the two of earth and so these are uh this particular deck is in correlation to the witches elements um and the tarot is closely tied to the uh, wicked magicians the tarot is used to divine uh, answers that we get to seek from one another so I'm going to open the deck. Now, the packaging was really nice. It came, like I said, in a very nice cardboard box. It even has a little string here. So when you pick up your deck, right? It's there. So I'm going to open up the deck, see what it looks like. Now, these decks, this card is a little thicker, slightly. Um, it's also a lot larger. Um, now, this is the back of the Herb Crafter Tarot card. Okay. And of course, I picked the very first one, which is the Fool, because I get to deck, um, excuse me, to, to shuffle this deck. So, it's just really cool. I mean, they're very beautiful pictures. Some of them are of just blooming, and some of them of the herbs. Uh, some have other things as well. Um, but all of them include plants in, in some, some type of way of fungi, uh, a mineral, roots, powder, what have you. Okay. Um, I'm excited about the tarot deck. It's not speaking to me right at the moment, um, but I am glad I have it because it's definitely something that I'm going to need to use often, being the herb crafter that I am. Okay, um, like I said, it's a very good deck. Um, I believe it's a full deck. Three cards. Um, my very first two decks, the first one was uh, the Star Spinners deck which was the um the all-inclusive lgbtq deck uh, it spoke to me the loudest so that was my first deck it is also my spiritual deck it's my deck that if i have an answer that i don't want everyone else to know about i go to that deck that's a personal deck it's just for me kind of deck you know what i mean so i'm going to go ahead and shuffle this just to christen them they, they shuffle pretty well um let's shuffle them again second time wasn't so great but we're getting there okay so once more the fool is still on top so that might tell us something huh? this is a brand new deck and the fool is not to be disturbed okay so we're gonna go and put that one away now it fits nicely into that space the recess that it has and then of course like i said we've got the guidebook all right and we put that right inside i put my deck on top of that string, okay? So when I want to, I can pull them right out. You see what I mean? Yeah, and then that book fits right on top as well. Now I want to leave the string out as well because I want to be able to pull all of it out, right? So, close it up. And this is how we're going to store it. 